So you're thinking of moving to Franklin, Tennessee, and you want to know the good things and the bad things. Well, my wife and I and our five kids moved to Franklin, Tennessee in 2013, and we absolutely fell in love with it immediately. I'll share with you in this video the pros and the cons of living in Franklin, Tennessee, and hopefully you'll decide that you want to move here too, and I'm getting after it right now. I am Greg Spackman, a licensed realtor here in Middle Tennessee, and as much as I love to make these videos for you guys, I love it even more to help you make that move here to Tennessee. So my number is popping up on the screen. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to help you on your journey moving here to Tennessee. Con number one is the tornadoes, and that's probably the scariest thing. Uh, we have lived through a couple different tornadoes, none that hit where we live, but they have uh, definitely scared my wife. And uh, one of the times when we got the tornado alert and we heard the sirens, one of my kids was upstairs and, and bumped the other kid. And then he did like a cartwheel down the stairs, like down three stairs. And then I caught him. It was super weird. We've had it where it's hailed sideways, a um, bunch of different little things, but we've never had a tornado tornado where it's done any sort of major damage in Franklin. They have hit uh, Nashville, which you probably saw in the news. And where it hit in, up in Nashville, it's done that like three times through the same area of Nashville or, you know, of that area three times. So, you know, while a tornado is possible, I just need to make you aware of that. It didn't stop us from wanting to move to Franklin. Pro number one would be the taxes. And there are no state income taxes. They do have a higher sales tax of 9.75% in uh, Franklin. However, it's 7% Tennessee general and then Williamson County tax on 2.75% to give you that 9.75% tax. Uh, property taxes, they seem pretty low. A four bedroom, three bath home, I just checked out 2,395 square feet, was priced at 699. And that property tax is somewhere around 3,100 a year. So if that's high or low, depending upon where you're coming from, Tennessee has a flat tax for their corporate tax of 6.5%, and they do levy a gross receipts tax. And the other cool thing, we've had a lot of people um, where the kids will move here first and then the parents follow them. There's no tax on Social Security benefits, so that's cool. And those are your things for taxes. A con number two is probably my least favorite thing about living in Tennessee, and that's the weather. It rains a lot. We get more inches of rain than they get in Seattle. Uh, they just get more days and they get like a drizzly rain. We get like hard rain where it will rain multiple inches in a day, you know, up to eight, nine, ten inches in a day it can rain. So this does keep everything green, which is super nice. That way you don't have a bunch of brown dead stuff. And uh, there doesn't really seem to be a shortage of water uh, as well since it rains so much. It's really hot in the summer. When we moved, we moved in, I think it was a, late April, May. No, it was May. We When we moved in May, it was like five days of 90 degree weather. Just happened to be my luck that we got to move in the, the hottest time you could pick because the week before it was in the 80s and the week after it was in the 80s. So it does get really hot. It does get humid. They have something called swamp ass that you'll get. So you'll learn about what that is. If you're from the humid uh, area, then you'll find that it's not as humid as say Florida. But it's, uh, it's humid, so you need to get used to that. Sometimes when it's really bad, it'll and I would walk from like the front door to my car, you'd feel like you need to get a second shower. So that is an adjustment that you have to get used to. I just never really get used to the humid. Wintertime doesn't really get uh, super, super cold like it does in other parts, so that's really nice. It does get cold enough to snow. Usually it snows one or two days at most and like a sixteenth of an inch of snow or something not enough for you to do anything with the snow however we had a few uh, years over uh, the past 10 years where it snowed enough that you could actually do something with the snow make snowmen and that sort of thing and even one year it, it iced so much I wish that I had done it but I didn't you could have skated out on the street uh, I wish I'd taken my hockey skates and went out there and skated because uh, I saw other people doing it later on Facebook. So that was cool. Know that when they predict the bad weather and they say it's going to snow, there's a huge run at the grocery store on bread and milk. Makes absolutely no sense why they do that sort of thing, but everybody goes and gets bread and milk, I guess, so you can put make your milk sandwiches. I don't know. Uh, comment below if you happen to know why they do that. 
Springtime is one of my favorite times of year because in the fall, all the leaves will change colors and they look really cool and then they fall off and then all the trees look dead. So it looks kind of gross during the winter time with no leaves on the trees. And then when the springtime hits, then the leaves start uh, to come back and the budding and it looks gorgeous. These trees are, some of the trees are amazing with colors and stuff that they bloom to in the spring. So it's super nice when you get tired of seeing everything dead, then everything comes to life again for, you know, the next six months until it does it all over again. Uh, another, another perk that's super nice is your lawn in late October, mid-October. You no longer have to mow your yard until April or May, somewhere in that range where then all of a sudden your grass starts to grow again. So that saves you a bunch of money uh, not having to mow or pay someone to mow your yard or upkeep your yard during that six months of the year. Pro number two is the friendly people here. They have some sort of Southern charm. When we first moved here, I would go to the grocery store and be gone over an hour just to get a few little things. And my wife had asked me, what, what took you so long? And it was always somebody at the grocery store would talk to me and say, hey, where are you from? Or what church do you go to? That sort of thing. And then they were just super nice. So I'd end up talking to them. And so it would take, you know, quite a while that, um, that's something that's super nice about being here is that the people are, are genuinely friendly and nice. However, I will give you a little tip. If someone does tell you bless your heart it, and they make it sound super, super sweet, it's not usually a good thing. Probably 99% of the time, it's not a good thing that they said it. On number three is public transportation. Franklin has terrible public transportation. Nashville has terrible. They just don't want to put any money into public transportation. There's no sort of light rail system. You got some buses to get around, but that's pretty much it. Otherwise, you're going to be using your car to get around. They did try to do some some sort of uh, light rail type system from Franklin, I think, out to Mount Juliet or Hendersonville, somewhere in that area, going, you know, going east or northeast or whatever. However, they didn't end up being able to do that. It would be super nice if they would run a uh, light rail or some other sort of metro thing down the center of I-65 and I-24. So you could go from like Murfreesboro up to Nashville and then you know, they could make it go all the way down to Columbia and then go up I-65 that way all the way to Nashville. It wouldn't be super hard and that would make it really nice to be able to, for people to get around and get up to Nashville. Row number three would be the beautiful landscape. There's rivers, open land, rolling hills, everything that you're looking for in the beauty of the outdoor stuff, it's here. And that has been changing over the time. My wife will comment every now and then when we drive somewhere and see a new subdivision, there were just hills and stuff and cows that were just out here. And now look at it, they built it up. So that is changing. However, there's still plenty of that for you to look at. And that's why that's pro number three is just the landscape is super cool to look at. And you can definitely drive, you know, take an hour drive and go find that in the middle of nowhere as well. Con number four are the allergies. And we live in the allergy bowl. So some years it's worse than other years. Uh, if it's really bad, then I just take a Claritin and I'll use Flonase. And that seems to really do the trick for me. Other years I have only had to use one or the other. It seems like it's worse in the spring and the fall. And that's, I think, due to when they, like, cut all the grass and they'll do the hay bales. And the hay bales in Tennessee are round bales. They're not square kind or rectangle kind, which look super cool. And then they leave them out to dry a little bit. And then sometimes they'll take them up. And then in some fields, you'll see them. They just leave them out there all the time. And I haven't been able to figure out why they just leave them, never pick them up. But they do that. And yeah, so that's allergies. Row number four would be jobs. And they have a ton of jobs here. There's a ton of corporate headquarters here. Carl's Jr. Hardy's headquarters is here. Acadia Healthcare is here. Nissan has their headquarters here. And it's got this really, really cool building that you're going to see off Carruthers. In and out is moving there, creating their eastern, southeastern headquarters in Franklin. They're going to be opening an in and out burger here. So if you're an in and out fan, comment below. Let me know because that's the best uh, chain burger for sure. That I've ever eaten but you're gonna be able to find a job if you're moving here whether you're working in Nashville Franklin Brentwood Murfreesboro uh, you're gonna be able to get a good job as there are a ton of jobs available uh, you just need to look and find one on number five is the cost of living well they say Franklin or Tennessee in general is a lower cost of living that used to be true years ago it's not so much anymore 
The average price right now is 815,000 for a home in Franklin. If you want something new construction, there are some right around that 800,000 mark. However, most of them are over a million for new construction. Then if you move to some of the other cities, you're looking at even more than that. You can stretch your dollar by going south to like Spring Hill or Thompson Station. Uh, know that new construction in those areas are going to be right around that 900 million, 1.1 million dollar mark. But you're going to be able to find to stretch your dollar by moving a little bit further out from Franklin if that's what you need to do. However, if you can afford Franklin, then that's uh, definitely the right area to be in just based on location, how close you are to Franklin and everything. Other stuff for cost of living, like utilities and everything else, is going to be pretty standard as far as elsewhere. It's not any more expensive. Car registration is, is cheap. It was like 55 bucks for your tags, and you don't have to smog your car anymore, so that's cool. Even when you did have to smog your car, it was like 7 bucks. so that's much cheaper than other parts of the country. And then, you know, the 55 bucks, or you can get a vanity plate, and I think it's like 100 for the vanity plate. But uh, that's cheaper. Car insurance seemed to be roughly about the same when, when we moved there from where we were in California. It wasn't like any sort of savings. If anything, it went up a slight amount. Food, groceries, that sort of thing is going to be pretty standard. I think that's almost everywhere nowadays where it's you know, the, pretty much the cost is the cost or they base the cost based on where you are and what you can afford, that sort of thing. So that's cost of living, which is on number five. Pro number five is Franklin has that small town charm, small town feel. They have parades. They do a pumpkin fest every year, which is super cool. In downtown Franklin, they do a Veterans Day parade where the police officers dress up like stormtroopers. They do a Dickens Christmas thing in downtown Franklin. Uh, my wife, that's how she found Franklin, was online on Pinterest. And she was just looking and saw all this stuff and wanted something that was like that. So she bugged me and bugged me for like two years to move to Franklin and finally, uh, we, I decided that we'd make the move. I can go into it in another video or you can ask me, you know, exactly why we moved to Franklin and then I'll share that with you. But uh, it's super cool with a small town and it, the downtown part of Franklin is awesome as well and that's coming up on another pro. Con number six seems super weird for me and that's that they don't do recycling. So if you're a recycle person, they just don't do recycling. We, you have one trash can, you throw it all in the trash can, and you, I don't know what happens at that point. That's con number six, no recycling. Pro number six is downtown Franklin, and that's really, really cool. It's super neat to look at. They just uh, built a few new things there. They're still revitalizing it, and it's a great place to go for fun stuff. There's a mellow mushroom there, which has really good pizza. There's a Gray's, which used to be an old pharmacy that has good food, and they do live music there. I've even been to the top floor that most people can't go to and taken photos for when I wanted to do my business card against some super neat wall. They have a place called 55 South. They used to sell this chicken and gravy thing that was amazing, and for some reason they removed it. So I don't really like the rest of their menu. However, other clients will go there and love it. So they do like some sort of egg burger thing that people talk about. Um, but I haven't been back there since they removed that. Red Pony is across the street from that, and we went and ate there. Steak there was good. They have Cork and Cow, which is another uh, place that's nearby, and that's super good. They have Meredith's Breakfast. That's cool, and we've eaten there for breakfast numerous times. They have Puckett's uh, as well, and then if you have a minute to stop in Kilwins uh, and get an ice cream and some fudge, it's super good, super nice, so we will go down there. Uh, with the kids sometimes and just get them an ice cream and then walk around downtown as something to do. But the downtown is something you should check out as well. Con number seven is traffic and traffic is bad at rush hours around town. It takes you longer than it should, an extra five, ten minutes to get home than non-rush hour. If you're moving from certain places like Dallas or LA or Atlanta, then you're gonna probably not think that there's any sort of traffic because what you're used to there. However, as you get acclimated, then the traffic bothers you more because you know when you would travel and there's no traffic, why is there traffic now? So that starts to bother you. But I just wanted to share that they do get traffic and uh, that's something you'll have to deal with. Pro number seven is something I'm not really 
uh, supposed to talk about, so I don't want to steer you in any way about the schools, but the schools are really, really good. They're great schools in Franklin. Williamson County is known for its schools. You can check all that out on like great schools or niche.com or school digger, whatever website you want to look at. But Franklin has nines and tens for most of their schools. And you can once again, check out all that online. One cool thing about Franklin high school is that they have this cooking course and my daughter really wished she was able to go there, but we weren't zoned for Franklin. So she didn't, she went to independence high school and, uh, but they had the cooking program and some other programs. So you, you know, if there are certain things that you're looking for, you can check that out on their school ahead of time. And a bonus tip here is Franklin actually has good food. You might not uh, have thought that they would have good Mexican food, but they do. There's a place called Oscars that you can eat at in Franklin. There's a place called Cali Burrito in Spring Hill that you can stop in and check out. If you see Adrian there, let him know that Greg Spackman sent you. It's got great Mexican food. Uh, barbecue is really good here. Try Martin's or at least barbecue. If you're into steak, then my favorite steak place is Stony River. Uh, my wife really loves the coffee cured filet. I didn't think it was all that great, so I wouldn't eat it even though I like coffee. I just get the normal filet or the bone and ribeye, and that's amazing. And they have you know good sides as well. The um, au gratin potatoes are really good. So give that a shot while you're in town. Even though Stony River is a chain, it's really good. Franklin is a great place. If you're planning to make that move, whether it's in nine days or 90 days, please reach out to me. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to chat with you and help you on your journey here to Franklin. Until next time, see you later.